Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back at you again with another video. This time, just going to be a real quick one. Uh, I think I have to eat crow a little bit. And I have to admit that I was wrong about the Note 10 Plus. Now, initially, when this phone was released, of course, I was hating on it. And the main reason were two things that I was really hating on it. Well, the number one thing, reason why I was hating on the phone so much is because they took away my headphone jack. And I prefer a device with a headphone jack. Now, I know most people say they don't need it most people are going wireless but it's nice to have the option and in my opinion if you're going to spend over a thousand dollars for a device you shouldn't be removing features you should be adding features and a headphone jack could have fit on that phone they try to say they needed more room for the battery it's nonsense there's phones that have 5,000 milliamp batteries that are not as big as the note 10 plus and have headphone jacks so for Samsung to say they needed more room for the battery is complete and utter nonsense. So that was my number one gripe with the with the Note 10 Plus. Second thing is I don't like the placement of the power button on the left side of the device. I think they should have left it on the right side, which they've always had all their phones with the power button on the right. So I have no idea why they decided to put it on the left side of the phone. So basically those were my two biggest gripes with the device. Now to admit I was wrong and I'm going to list the reasons why I was wrong about that device and also to say it's definitely worth upgrading. It is definitely not the same phone. You wouldn't be buying the same phone twice. It is most certainly and definitely a major upgrade. Now some people may disagree with that but after I read all these specs and I'm not even reading all of them. I'm just going to read the ones that are important to me and may be important to you. First thing is the Note 10 Plus has an in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. Now with the Note 9, you had the fingerprint sensor on the rear. This one is built into the display. So that's impressive. That's number one. Number two, you have a larger 6.8 inch display, which is huge. It's taller and it's wider than the Note 9. Number three, it's almost a bezel-less display except for the little teeny camera cutout in the middle of the device. Number four, it has 12 gigs of RAM. Now, honestly, you don't need 12 gigs of RAM. That's a lot of RAM. I think anywhere between 6 to 8 would be plenty, more than enough. But the fact is, it has 12 gigs of RAM standard. Number five, it comes with 256 gigs of internal storage, which, of course, the Note 9 comes with 128. But you can also buy a variant that has 512. But the fact is, this comes with 256 already built into the phone. Number six, it comes with a 4,300 milliamp battery. The Note 9 had a 4,000 milliamp battery. Number seven, this phone, the Note 10 Plus, comes with 25 watt fast wired charging, meaning you can charge this phone from zero to 100% in 65 seconds. Just an hour and five minutes, you can, you can be at 100%. That's quite impressive. And you could also use a 45 watt charger that does not come included in the box. You have to buy that separately through Samsung's uh, website. Number eight, it has a completely new overall design. So it doesn't even look like the Note 9. It's a completely design overhaul of the device. So it definitely looks more futuristic. It has um, also expandable memory, but this time you could expand the memory up to one terabyte. As opposed to the Note 9, it was 256 gigs of, of um, expandable memory. But now you could put a one terabyte memory card in there now that's something that i would definitely be into because <laughs> i need that much storage next thing is it has a triple camera setup on the rear which the note 9 only had dual lenses this one has a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens it has a um i'm sorry and it also has a time of flight depth sensor okay i'll get to the other lens in a minute it's um wide Okay, number 11, now you can record in 4K for an unlimited period of time. With the Note 9, you can only record in 4K for five minutes, which is really unfortunate. But now with the Note 10 Plus, you, can, you have unlimited 4K recording. So that's impressive as well. Comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Some may leave it on. Some may take it off to put on the white dome, which everybody's saying that's the best screen protector out there on the market. Number 13, new S Pen Air Gestures. Now you can use your S Pen Air Gestures to play other video, control your music, 
Now that's something that wouldn't really be that big of a deal for me, but it's still an improvement of the overall device. Um, number 14, it has the Snapdragon 855 chipset. Number 15 is HDR10 Plus certified. So it has even better HDR than the Note 10. Note 10 had HDR10, but this has HDR10 Plus. Number 16, this uh, the Plus, the, 10, the Note 10 Plus has a dynamic AMOLED Infinity O display. Number 17, this phone has 18 watt fast wireless charger. Okay? All right. Also, um, I have to add that the phone has reverse wireless charger, which is pretty impressive, which means you could turn the phone over and you could charge somebody's uh, phone that has Qi wireless charging on it, or you can charge your um, any wireless device like, um, say, your Buds or your, your your watch. You know, so that's that's cool to have that, even though I don't know how often you'll use that, but it's, the fact is you still have it. So I would add that in also as well. Um, it has live focus video, which you can, while you're shooting video, you can blur the background out, which is pretty impressive. It has up to 10 times digital zoom on the rear camera. It has a 12 megapixel wide angle lens. So you have 16 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and also a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Also, the camera has super steady HDR plus recording which is even more steadier than the camera in the Note 9. It also has zoom in mic which while your video recording you can zoom in to the person and the mic will adjust so it'll get louder so you could be far away zoom into the person and you could hear them even louder and clearer so that's pretty neat and also this phone comes with screen recording so that's about 24 things that have been improved from the Note 9 to the Note 10 Plus. So I must say again, I was wrong about the Note 10 Plus and I was too hasty to hate on that device. But overall, from what I've seen from the reviews, it's a great device. And it's something I'm looking to have at some point, no time soon. I may wait until next year when the price go down considerably, then purchase it because I, I refuse to pay over a thousand dollars for a device is not going to happen so that's my my thoughts um, I had to eat crow on that because the phone is definitely worth the upgrade It's not worth eleven hundred dollars I must say that <laughs> it is not no phone is worth eleven hundred dollars but if you are gonna pay that much money for a phone you want everything in it and this phone pretty much has everything except it's missing two things that I think they need to, to, to put in it they need to bring back the headphone jack, which they probably won't, but they should. They should put the power button back on the right side, and they should also bring back the IR blaster. So those are my only things, they, to me, what they need to do better. Headphone jack, IR blaster, put the power button back on the right side of the device. All right, so that wraps it up for this video. Once again, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. And I do appreciate all the subscribers that support my channel. Much love to you. Till next time. Peace.